uh, day one at um, 8.32, five or six minutes before I'm ready to leave and uh, the wind's perfect and desperate to see what I can do on my first day. Well, this is uh, day two. Um, didn't sleep that well last night, the boat was bouncing about all over. Also rode for 11 and a half hours without a break. Day nine, I think, mid-afternoon, uh, 3.30. It's been quite hot today, but you can see the massive rollers streaking out in front. Bit under the boat, and they just roll away. The boat's um, twisted in the wind a little bit. <coughs> so this is day 20. I'm going to show you what we're uh, contending with today. We've got 25 knot winds, big swell, and the swell's coming in two or three different directions as well, so it's a bit confusing. Day 25, and uh, I've stopped for my afternoon break. So I'm going to test out the underwater capabilities of this camera. <laughs> I've played a little lanyard so I don't do my oar disappearing trick. And we're going to have a look at the underside of the boat. See what's, uh, what's occurring on the road. looked incredibly good actually. We've been out here nearly four weeks and there was hardly a thing. What a stunning colour the water is as well. Absolutely incredible. Okay that my friends, halfway across my journey across the Atlantic. This is what halfway looks like outside. calm again today which is frustrating but there is a little bit of a wind starting to pick up this afternoon it's supposed to be 15 knots so it's about lunchtime on, um, on Christmas Eve and it is time to go in the water I've got my scraper I've got the scraper on the boat I've got my secondary shark repellent just in case here we go so tear open the foil bag tie it in a bag to person squeeze in water Dense black cloud, remain in centre of cloud. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a good time. We see. Okay, so I'm going over. And uh, if you don't see me again and you find this video, you know what happened. I've done it. It was scary as heck, and I won't be doing it again. The bottom of the boat's clean, covered in uh, anti foul paint, and uh, need to get cleaned up. So, I was going to take some pictures, but I'm not going to go down there. The boat's moving quite quickly, actually, about a knot and a half. So you've kind of been dragged along as you go. Incredible down there, though. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, I've been in. It's wet and blue, just to prove it. I don't know if you can hear, but um, there's a massive rainstorm outside, and I just made it inside. I just finished my robe, had a shave, brushed my teeth, and, um, and had, a, had my flannel bath and uh, got in just as it started tipping it down. It's also pushing us along at between two and a half and three and a half knots out. 4.3 knots. <laughs> That's a mind-boggling speed. <laughs> Very good, Georgie. I love him. I love him. <laughs> of the year. The holidays are here. It's your duty. <laughs> to shake your booty. Have a blast. Had another massive storm this morning. And that's it going there. Uh, moving north. See. So after that massive storm this morning, not a cloud in the sky in anything south of east and west. 
day 37 and um, the wind up was predicted this year and um, it's pretty good really. You can see over my shoulder that's our uh, port side. The swell's kind of headed southwest, which 500 miles ago would have been perfect, but it's gone a bit too far south. We're cutting across the top of the swell, taking some of the energy. Yesterday was a really good day, 65 miles, well 65.8 miles. Just wanted to show you the uh, conditions at the moment. Big storm messing up the water. It takes about 180 degrees up the horizon. The sun's just gone behind a big cloud. It's massive black cloud. And um, it's really mucking up the water. This weather front's been approaching me all morning. It should be light by now. You can kind of see behind the, the edge of the clouds that the sun's out. Anyway, I'm right under the top edge of this, this weather system. You can see it right above me. And there's the rain that's on its way. I think I'm going to get the show. It's about 15 minutes after you, uh, after I did my last little piece about the, the weather front. And um, it's just about to start bucketing it down. So I'm, I've come in. It's the first time I've come out of the rain in the entire trip. But it's pointless getting freezing cold and getting all my kit wet. So um, I've got a few chores to do. You can hear the rain. I'm just going to have to close the door, which will make it a bit dark. Okay, so more Friday the 13th nonsense. It's now, uh, it's now half past nine GMT. And um, I got soaked again. And uh, I'm just going to show you this storm that's coming my way, I think. And I'm not staying out for this one. This looks, uh, this looks like a proper storm. Here we go. We're in the middle of this massive um, storm system. It's been like this for about three hours now. I showed you a bit earlier the front of it coming over us, and uh, it's been drizzling and no wind, and then loads of wind, and then wind in the wrong direction. Buckets and buckets of rain, absolutely soaked. And, uh, it's quite tricky though when it when it rains hard. Day 52, and possibly my last full day at sea. Hopefully, I'm 60 miles away from Barbados, so it should be unless something goes wrong. And I thought I'd try and capture the sunrise this morning, as it's probably the second to last one we'll get. And there was no sun yesterday. Barbados is behind me, I'll leave the camera on for 10 minutes as we approach the north point and uh, hopefully it clears up a little bit. It's very stormy this morning. Two hours and 20 minutes to go to North Point and a couple of hours around the corner. Cheryl and the girls and Tony come down to meet me. Can't wait. Gotta love it. I've nearly rode across an ocean. Ah, I survived the next two hours and 20 minutes.
off horse. Boat since November 23rd. Yeah, yeah. Three days. Don't hug him and he's at a shower. Yeah.